we are always told about the rags to riches stories we are always told about the overnight success of other people but there's another side to these stories let's find out it's time to have a word with me rajiv thavan the concept of wealth is distorted in our society as kids we are always taught that a luxury car is a true identity of wealth we are always told about the journeys of people who moved from a bike to a luxury car in my case i always wanted to buy a mercedes and as part of a crazy hustling culture i wanted to buy it before i turned 30 i also wanted to make sure i bought it with my own money and guess what i did it 3 months before i turned 30 i bought the car my dream car i drove it for around 4 years and then the pandemic struck we were all locked up in our homes it gave me time to reflect on various aspects of my life including the fact that i didn't want a luxury car as a kid it's actually the conditioning of society that made me buy it after i bought one i didn't really feel any significant shift except how people thought or perceived that i had arrived that i made it big but inside it was all the same and nothing had really changed in me after much thought i decided to sell it and buy a maruti yes you heard it right a maruti and yes it was not a financial issue that led me to this decision i was actually in a situation where i could afford two such cars without much hassle sorry if i sound pompous but there's a reason why i'm sharing all this information with you but what made me change my mind well it was introspection that led to clarity now was the time to buy something i was comfortable with something that i didn't attach my self esteem to and to do this i had to make sure that i truly give a damn about what people think not just in theory but practically luckily it wasn't tough at all in fact my transition was effortless i didn't feel any less in a maruti it felt good for some reason i soon understood that having control of my money and not giving a damn about society is the most lethal combination it would take me closer to wealth creation ultimately leading to financial freedom but in this world the idea of financial independence or financial freedom is almost non-existent there's hardly any discussion about the fact that time is the biggest wealth and financial freedom is one of the most effective ways to create this wealth called time if we look around closely we'll see the herd getting stuck in the loop of buying things in fact it's mostly the stuff they don't even need a trait that keeps them poor for life there's absolutely no talk about making sure that we focus on our mental and physical health more so mental health today there's an increase in the hustling culture the culture talks about continuous work without really taking a break when our body types are different our growing up experiences are different our goals are different our purpose in life is different and our health condition is different how can hustling be a standard culture for instance we are all not meant to be entrepreneurs and that's okay we all can excel while working somewhere too we can find a sense of purpose in a job as well the idea of glorifying entrepreneurship is great but the idea of vilifying a job doesn't really help the cause the idea that entrepreneurs are smart and those working for someone are just wasting their time making someone else rich is obnoxious some people are happy with owning a basic scooter and others remain unhappy despite owning the best sports car money can buy so it ultimately boils down to what you're really passionate about what drives you for instance my biggest ambition could be something you've been taking for granted every single minute so it's all subjective what matters is whether we are aligned with our purpose or not it doesn't mean we don't take risks or move out of our comfort zone occasionally it's just about understanding our situation better 
it's about not blindly comparing our journey with someone else's now i'm not against the idea of buying luxury but there's a time to do that and if you're truly passionate about something like cars for instance then it's a different scenario but if you're someone who's struggling with their finances have enough debt and responsibilities and then you say one life and go for the plunge then that's a move you might want to double check i hope you liked this piece of content if you did please share i'm sure you will positively impact someone thank you